morning, Grace Church. Um, as you know, at Christmas time, uh, the C2C kids uh, started telling you God's story. Our goal in C2C is to teach our kids, and it takes us two years, the whole of God's story, starting from in the beginning, Genesis 1-1 all the way through Jesus's death and resurrection. So at Christmas time, we came and we shared with you all of what we had learned in the Old Testament. And basically, when you boil it all down, these are the things that we learned from the Old Testament. Number one, that God created the world. And when he created it, he made it beautiful and perfect and wonderful. But Adam and Eve sinned. They listened to Satan instead of to God. And when they did that, it changed everything. It broke our relationship with God. And because of that, sin entered the world, but also suffering and also death. But God is so gracious that even at the very beginning, when he was disciplining Adam and Eve and sending them out of the garden, he made a promise in Genesis 3.15. And he says, listen, I'm going to send you a deliverer, somebody who's going to defeat Satan and rescue you. So all through all those thousands of years, they were looking and looking for this rescuer. And for 2,000 years, God kept dropping all these little hints about this rescuer, who he would be, what he would be like. And so they knew from those 2,000 years, they knew that this rescuer was going to be a Jew, a descendant from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and that he was going to be a blessing not only to the Jews, but to all the people of the world. They knew that he was going to be born of a virgin from Isaiah, and that he was going to be born in the town of Bethlehem. They knew that he was going to minister in the region of Galilee, that he was going to bring light to the darkness. They knew that he would speak to us the very words of God. As a matter of fact, in Psalm 78, it tells us that he would speak to us in parables and share with us things that had been hidden from the very beginning of the age. It told us that um, he was going to come to them riding on a donkey, this deliverer, this savior, um, was going to come to them righteous and having salvation, gentle and riding on a donkey. And it told them from Psalm 22 and Isaiah 53 that he was going to die and he was going to bear the penalty for the sins of the people. So for 2,000 years, the Jews watched and they waited and they longed for this deliverer. For 4,000 years, mankind suffered under the pain of being separated from God. Um, some just gave up and gave themselves over to sin. Others tried really hard to live a righteous life, but even the most righteous person knows that they have thought things and said things and done things that are wrong. So someone needed to rescue us. Someone needed to pay for our sins and the terrible consequences that they brought. But who would do that? Who could do that? And that is where the glory of Easter comes in. Easter is the celebration of the beginning of God's great rescue of mankind and of God's son, the great rescuer who left heaven and came to earth. Uh, the deliverer that was predicted all through the Old Testament had finally come to rescue us um, at great cost to himself. And so I want you to get ready because today the kids of grace want to tell you the rest of God's story. 2,000 years ago, Jesus left heaven and came to earth. He healed the sick, he raised the dead, and he made the blind to see. And he told us the truth about God, about sin, about judgment, about heaven, and about hell. Then one week before Passover, A.D. 33, Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. The people spread their branches on the road and shouted, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! Then Judas betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. Jesus was arrested and tried by the religious leaders, but Jesus kept silent. He was whipped and beaten and mocked. They nailed his right hand and his left hand and his feet to the cross. Men gambled for his clothing. Others mocked and yelled, he trusts God. Let God save him. Then 
everything went dark. The earth shook and the curtain in the temple ripped from top to bottom. And Jesus cried out, it is finished. They buried Jesus in the tomb and rolled the stone in front. They sealed the tomb and posted a guard to make sure Jesus' body stayed put. But three days later, the earth shook, the stone rolled away, and an angel appeared and said, he is not here, he has risen, just as he said. And so today we celebrate the fact that God loved us all so much that he sent his one and only son to rescue us from sin and death so that anyone who believes in Jesus and what he did for them on the cross can know that their sins are forgiven and that they have everlasting life. And that is why we celebrate Easter. Happy Easter! Yeah. Yeah.